Another one of my favorites. I really do. Mm, I really do appreciate chamomile. It's such a lovely flower and it has so many medicinal properties. And so I think it's most renowned for its relaxing and uh, kind of soothing and calming type of properties. But there's a few things about chamomile, chamomile I don't, that I bet you didn't know. So um, it has anti-infectious properties. It is an anti-inflammatory. It is an anti-parasitic. They're always telling you about wormwood, which is, ugh. It's effective, but it's not palatable in my opinion. But chamomile is also an anti-parasitic, right? Um, it's an anti-spasmatic as well. And so chamomile is one of these herbal teas that I tend to recommend to my mothers who are dealing with um, nausea, sometimes pregnancy nausea, sometimes headaches, insomnia, um, anxiety is another one um, that's pretty big, uh, restlessness, you know, um, things like that. Anything to kind of just get her to be more calm and relaxed as much as possible. Sometimes what I've started doing recently is instead of starting my day with um, a cup of green tea, I don't really do coffee like that anyways, but I will um, lean into some kind of caffeine rich herbal tea, whether it's a chai tea or an English black tea you know, or Earl Grey, uh, even green tea. Any of the teas that have a color have caffeine. Orange pokey, I think that's how you, pico, the orange one, <laughs> my bad. The orange tea, your white tea, your green teas, your black tea, they all have some residual caffeine in them. And so if you have a busy schedule in front of you, try starting your day with chamomile. It's very relaxing and soothing. It kind of helps you start your day on more of a um, calm note versus this high energy 10. You can kind of glide into it with a, you know, a smooth four, <laughs> so to speak. So chamomile is safe for pregnancy, it's safe for breastfeeding. It really helps for babies that are teething or sometimes when they have gastrointestinal upset. I used to make up a big batch of chamomile tea and sometimes I would mix it with a, um, a more flavorful one that the children may like, whether it was like a, uh, a peach, country peach, you know, that one out there. I might mix those two together and make up a big glass jar of tea and let them sip on it through the day, especially if um, it was a rainy day because we did homeschool and that meant we couldn't go outside. So <laughs> that means they were gonna be inside all day together. So yes, I would mix up a big batch of tea and we would just sip on that and they would stay at a, a real nice mellow for a child, possibly a six, again, rather than a 10. So get a acquainted, a real acquainted with chamomile tea. As I mentioned, it has a lot more uh, medicinal effects. It also is helpful for skin. You'll find chamomile sometimes integrated into baby balms, like for diaper rash creams and things like that. It uh, sometimes is incorporated into face creams. There's also chamomile incorporated in soaps and body washes, but ultimately ingest it. If you like the taste, you like the smell, there's also a chamomile essential oil that you can use, put a little bit behind your ears or um, mix it with the carrier oil and rub your baby down with it when they're um, dealing with some colic or some, you know, just some growth spurts even, because now we know that growing pains actually are uncomfortable for babies. They don't necessarily feel good, so they like to be comforted and inhaled a little bit more. So you can mix in a chamomile essential oil with a coconut oil or a jojoba or a olive oil and um, you know, make a that's a nice carrier oil, and then just rub their little bodies down with it. I bet they'll sleep so good. You could drop a few drops inside of their bath water. I wouldn't do any more than two to three drops inside of a baby's bath water. That can really help them, especially when they're teething. You can um, use the chamomile again and make it into a tea and um, make it into the um, little uh, ice cube trays 
and then they can use that. They have the little teething ring trays. You have to look on Amazon and find you one. But you can replace the water, is my point, with a chamomile um, tea. You don't even have to, have, to, have to add any sweetener to it. And that could be a great compliment to help them with uh, soothe their gums because of that anti-inflammatory uh, effect that the chamomile has in it. So, yes, chamomile, go out and get you some. Mm-hmm. <laughs>